What's up guys, this is your boy Russian and today we're going to be looking at games you can actually buy for $5. Now $5 is a ballpark, I'm not going to go over a dollar on this price, so if that's $5.69, I will still count as a $5 game. Now just so you guys know, I will be using cdkeys.com, this is not sponsored, but the reason for that is uh, it's a pretty cheap site. The way they operate is they buy those keys from different regions. Uh, a lot of things that people used to do on Raid to buy some packs, pretty much use a VPN, go to a different country, buy a game from there that is a lot cheaper. They buy in bulk, they get even cheaper prices, etc. etc. All right. So that's what we're going to be using. And by the way, just to let you guys know, those games, for the most part, are not brand new games, but one thing you have to ask yourself, in a world today that developers push out games that don't even work, should you be paying 80 bucks for a game, just the base game, and not have this thing working on day one in your computer? So my guess is no. All right. So in the end of the day, it's about having fun. It doesn't matter if the graphics are not the brand new graphics today, but if you have a good experience, if you can't have fun, that's what matters. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So we are on CD keys right now. As you see, a lot of those prices are pretty decent. You do have some discounts on three months Xbox Game Pass, all that stuff. Uh, I have never bought those. Uh, I usually only buy games in here. Uh, we have Grand Theft Auto, for example. Uh, five for ten dollars forty nine cents now let me be very clear a lot of times before you buy those games you may want to check some other websites like for example um, you may want to check Xbox because a lot of times uh, on Xbox for PC you have those games being so cheap in city keys because they have been released on some of those uh, apps. So if you're a subscriber, you may actually get the game for free instead of actually buying it. Or if that's a game you really like, you can always buy the game just to have it. So let's take a look in here, PC. Yes, a lot of good price. You have 84% off. You have 96% off on Gotham Knights. As you guys can see, I have that hearted because Gotham Knights a game that has some issues. Uh, some people really didn't appreciate the game. And part of it has to do with the fluidity of the movements. But it's not a bad game. And almost when you look at $2.59 for the game, uh, a lot of people like the game. It's not a 100%, but it's a pretty light game I would say so let's do what we're here for let's go down on prices and scroll this thing all the way down and five too much 570 there you go view items okay so from the get-go we have got the Knights in here for 259 I have marked already I already talked about it you have the Batman Arkham Collection for $4.79. So in here you have all the games. Um, Batman, Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Arkham Knight, and Arkham Knight Season Pass. So it is a lot of fun. Uh, those games, I haven't finished off then. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing that on the channel. I already have those games on my Xbox that I don't have anymore. But I do have my account, so uh, it's something I may want to think about getting for PC. So I have hearted right now. Um, you have some games for people like Golf with Friends, like really simple games. Mad Max, not a bad game for $2.59. I may think about it, just not right now. Wolfstein, eh, some people didn't like. I actually enjoyed uh, the base of the game. No problem at all. Also, $4.29. Payday. 
I don't even think I would buy this game because I don't even know the state of the game right now. I got that game when it released that was on Xbox for PC. And to be honest, you 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 just the game wasn't playable. Uh, you couldn't get a server. You would crash. You would have lots and lots of issues. Nobody could actually play the, play the game. I do suspect it was fixed, but I really would have to look into it as of right now. You have Shadow of War for three eighty nine, but it's not bad. Again, those games are not brand new games, but they're still games that I would say they're pretty legit, even for today standards. You have Borderla <laughs> Borderlands 3. I mean, I know... Oh, my God. The, the movie kind of destroyed the series in a sense, but still kind of a fun game to play. Only $5.09. I mean, you can't really lose with that. Shut up, more, Mordor. Another game I played. A lot of those games I haven't finished because I got them during the time I was in the military. So... I really didn't have the time to finish, and I was really, really involved with Destiny and Destiny 2. So, every now and then, I like to check some of those games. And almost if I saw them on sale, I would just buy with the expectations to actually complete. And that's one thing I want to do in the channel, is complete those games, uh, or as many games as I can. Civilization, it's a game that I have played since 1, since the first Civilization. For the PC, for DOS. Um, always loved the series. Uh, they got really hard afterwards, but very enjoyable as well. I may get six. I think I have to check if I have six or not. Um, but yeah, great game. Um, and the reason I feel it's really cheap right now is because we have Civilization 7 coming out. So. A lot of people are kind of like just holding on to it. So they have to sell cheap right now. Let's see what else. Harry Potter. Uh, you have a lot of those Lego games. Uh, real cheap. Um, not really new games, but they are fun. Uh, Tom Clancy's The Division. Some people really didn't like this game. I actually like it. Now, this one is just the Weapon Skin DLC. All right. We do have The Ascent, Mortal Kombat 11. So we have a lot of Mortal Kombat's out. Um, I'll be honest, if you don't have any of them, having a Mortal Kombat on your PC, it's always fun. And most of you have friends over. Uh, I do enjoy a lot. I love the fatalities. I just feel like those games became kind of uh, a little bit hard to remember every single move. And in the most when you have to complete then in your controller, sometimes it just doesn't work as well as you want. Resident Evil series that I probably gonna be getting off then. Um, some of them are right now on Xbox for PC. I have checked on on six. I know two and three, the new ones are. Um, what caused me actually to buy Resident Evil Zero that is also in here. Um, because that's one of the games I kind of complete. If you guys paid attention to my videos and you checked one of the tattoos I have, my full sleeve is actually the same tattoo as the main character of Resident Evil Zero. And I have not finished this game for many reasons. Um, I will cover that when I release the video about the, uh, for the game. And here you have Doom, one of the most played games ever. I played this game a lot. I played this game in the channel in the past. Uh, have not finished uh, for many, many reasons. But yeah, great game too. Dishonored, really fun game. Um, I will say for the age, it's a game that actually, it doesn't look that bad. Um, really fun to play. There's many ways for you to play Dishonored, both one and two. One of them is pretty much not killing anybody. What is fun? Uh, Devil May Cry HD Collection. This game is old. When I say old, I mean old. Uh, still fun. I don't know if I would invest in the most because I do have for the Xbox. Uh, yeah, but 
it's if you want to play a series that's a good series to play a little outdated i wish they would come out with a new one but it's not up to me in here stalker complete bundle so stalker is it's a kind of game that it it's fairly um it's it's not like newest type of graphics but you can still have a lot of fun with it and here you have arkham origins blackgate deluxe edition so arkham orange also not too bad two two dollars 49 cents uh three mark hey if you want to check uh, how fast your pc can run killing floor another game that i actually set up this one is the deluxe edition for pc uh, we do have Killing Floor 3 coming out, or just came out. I love games that you can just jump in and kill some zombies. So, this is a winner for me. Dead Rising, Dead Rising series. I have a lot of those for the Xbox. Again, I'm probably going to get an Xbox. I have a lot of games in there, and I will have to check what I have and what I don't have before I actually jump in some of those. But I always found that Rising are really fun games. I know that Rising 4 changed a little bit the style of the game. So, but I still would like to check it out. Then we come down, we have some Star Wars for fans. I'm a big fan. Uh, Crew, Crew 2. So, this type of games, I actually picked a different uh, car game that I actually got as well. Uh, but I... I don't know, a lot of people are fans of Forza. I'm not the biggest fan for the main reason that it's too realistic. If I want to really drive a real car, I just jump in a car and drive. Um, most car racing games, I like the over-the-top games. Stuff that would be almost impossible to be done, or at least legally. So, yeah, it's more of my uh, style. You're going to see a lot of Assetto Corsa. I don't know much about the Corsa games. Uh, but, yeah, those games, you're going to see a lot of them. Uh, be it DLCs or the actual games for just a few dollars. Fallout 4, great game. Five sixty nine, dollars Not too bad. I know it's not a brand new game. It already has a, <laughs> a lot of years on it. But still, pretty fun game to play. Dead Rising again, Injustice 2, have the game, I believe I have for PC and for the Xbox. Beyond, yes, so Beyond's for, from the same guys who made the, what is that, Ons Human, uh, Detroit. Really nice game, really good looking game. Uh, not too old, I believe it's uh, 20, 23, 2020, wow. Four years old and still a really good looking game. And here you have uh, Resident Evil 4. But it's not the new one that just came out. But this is the HD edition for 389 This game was one of the games. I, I finished a lot of the Resident Evil games. This one is great. The only part that I have complaints about. Besides some of the creatures I had to be lucky enough to kill. Um... It's the ending when you're on the jet ski. It's mental. But still a lot of fun. I think that was the part that I had to go back the most was the jet ski. But uh, fun game. $3.89. So more Batman in here. Uh, Hitman series. Hitman, pretty fun game. And dollar thirty nine Can't go wrong with that. Devil Within, it's still about Halloween for me. I don't know when you guys are watching this video, but great game. $2.59. We have more Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry 4. I had this game, but that was a game that really upset me. I know here you have Dante. Uh, I believe the old version of him as well on the special edition. But I got when it came out, and I hated the change they made. So, yeah, never came back. Probably should, but, yeah, let's see. Again, Dead Island, 
really fun. Uh, I believe it used to be a co-op game, an online game. I don't know if how well it would be working, but this is the definitive uh, collection. Four dollars for nine cents. Not too bad either. More Hitman, more Sonic, more Star Wars. All right, let's move on. So Wolfenstein Old Blood. So New Blood, a lot of people didn't like. I actually enjoyed the game. Uh, haven't played Old Blood yet. I probably a game I will be getting probably soon enough. Uh, Metro Redux. I love Metro. I already have this game. Um, lots of fun. It's I don't know how to explain. I mean, it's the same. You know, it's a FPS game, just fun, good story, not much to say about it, and two dollars six nine cents. We come down here, some Assassin's Creed two. Um, yeah, I I played a lot of those. Outlast, great game, not new, and this Outlast two. Amnesia, the bunker. This game is claustrophobic as hell. Not to use another word, but really fun game to play too. Um, kind of like stressful a bit. Uh, if you want to play a game not to be stressed, definitely not the game. But if you have time and you're relaxed, yeah, play this game. You're going to have lots of fun. Starship Troopers. Just one thing. This is not the new Starship Troopers. This is pretty much like Command & Conquer using Starship Troopers. Fun game but not the latest that came out. All right, we're jumping here. Wow, we're going through this thing like hell. Forewarned, if you guys see, I have a heart on this game. I have that favorite. This game is older. It's a very claustrophobic game. It's really, really good, the story and everything. The only problem some people have with this game is can be a little repetitive. Uh, the locations so we're still a good game uh should check it out dead rising 4 that's where the series kind of changed a little bit uh, i don't think it's a bad game i haven't tried yet uh some people like some people don't some people didn't like the changes so we'll see wolfenstein the new order always like wolfenstein even the old ones for dos yakuza 5 remastered there you go, Assassin's Creed again. Back for Blood, man, this game I play. That's one of the games I probably played the most, um, besides from games like Destiny. It's just fun. It's the kind of game you can just jump in, kill some zombies, get out. It doesn't really matter how much time you have, because let's be honest, in life, you may only have half an hour, an hour to play a game and, you know, to kind of take a break and go back to what you have to do. So this is a great game. The reason why I haven't bought yet is because this game was on Xbox for PC for the longest time. So I played a lot in there. Um, still debating on getting it, but there's always a chance going to go back. If I see it doesn't go back to Xbox for PC, I may get this game anyway, because it is a hell lot of fun. All right, so Dead Rising 2, Elder Scrolls, more Batman, Hotline Miami, fun game, uh, $1.89, Bloodstained, haven't played, The Long Dark, haven't played this game, Corsa again, Saints Row, Great, amazing game, 479. More Fallout. We have LA Noir, Noir, more Mortal Kombat, Fallout, Road 96, never heard of. Zombie Army, Dead War 4. Uh, I guess this game was alright. I had some fun playing, didn't really get into it. More Hitman, uh, Star Wars, Knights of Old Republic, Aragami. Kind of fun game. Uh, played a couple of times. I didn't own the game. I played with friends. So, Bayonetta. Bayonetta is a great game. Um, I believe I have that for the Xbox as well. See, I had a lot of games for Xbox. 
because every time I would see a sale, I would just get it, be on uh, GameStop or online. And, well, to be honest, Xbox also gave, give you a lot of free games if you have Game Pass. So, let's see. Metal Hellsinger. This game is so much fun. I cannot... I, I, I can't even explain how much fun this game is. Basically, you get more points by killing things in the rhythm of heavy metal. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. I mean, you just need some extra explosions on that, and that's a perfect game. Then we have Helldivers. Also good game. Devil Within Bundle. Woo! Probably that's one and two. What is... Not a bad deal at all. Dishonored, that's the first one, 399. Saints Row, Killing Floor 2 again. The reason why I chose the other one is because being a uh, definitive edition. But if you want to go cheap a little bit, $2.89. So, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Fun game, like if you're not into Mortal Kombat, that's a really good game to have as well. Warhammer. It's all right. Uh, didn't got into it. I know a lot of people may want to kill me for that, but Assassin's Creed Brotherhood dropped down to three eighty nine because it should. Let's see what else. Ori or Oni. Let's check a couple more and then let's go to take take a look in the ones I actually have picked already. Alan Wake, pretty fun. Star Wars. Epic Mickey Power of Two. We have some uh, expansions for Destiny. Infinity. So Infinity is pretty decent, right? Um, the only thing is that's third edition. Pretty much, it's uh, you're getting mostly the game and the characters. So it's kind of game you have to be getting different editions to be able to have different characters in your game. Now, one game I already got, Split Second. This game is amazing. If I ever want to have quick fun, just on a race, that it's pretty much like uh, the Running Man meets uh, Fast and Furious. That's a game. This game, I, I have so much fun. And this game's not new at all. Let's see where, when it came out. It came out in 2010, and I feel this game still hold up. A lot. Uh, 14 years old game, almost 15. And this game holds up pretty good. And it's only $2.69. Uh, some more Resident Evils. Resident Evil 0. I already got it. Because for one of the reasons, it's not on the Xbox Pass. So I got this game because I will be playing this game within the next few days. Hellblade. Pretty decent game. Um, it was on Xbox for PC for a long time. For, I started playing, really didn't got into it. Also, I wasn't using the computer I have now. I was using my older computer, and it was it had some issues running. So I should check it out again. I don't know if that's still on the Xbox for PC, but I'll figure out. All right. Okay, Sniper Elite. Sniper games, I had then, I played then, but it, I feel like it was the kind of game that after a while you just get sick of it. Um, and most times when I played, really the population of the game wasn't there. So, all right, so let's take a look in the games I have selected for myself. Now, one of the reasons why I didn't select a lot of those games is because I already have them, right? So let me be very clear. Okay, let's look at my favorites. So, I do have forewarned, like I said. Generation Zero, I do have in here, but I'm not buying. So, this game dropped down to $6.49. Actually, it was cheaper a couple of days ago. It was under $6. But, the reason why I'm getting this, I'm not getting this game, is because it's out on Xbox. So, Great game. Definitely going to be playing that as well. Uh, Dragon's Dogma. Really good game. Um, some people don't like it because there's a lot of plot holes in the story. Um, but 
it is a fun game. I want to try it out at least. And I may be able to talk more about the game, uh, my real opinions about it. Pre Predator, Hunting Ground. So, very sad that this game now is not available. Um, I am going to keep it in here in case they get more keys or try to look somewhere else for the game. It's not a new game, but it seems to hold up pretty good. So, let me see. The game came out when... Do -do -do. I don't know. 2021. So, not that old. Um, and pretty good game, it seems. A lot of people love this game. So, soon, hopefully, it's going to pop up. I buy it now, and I should be getting it. Gungrave. Gungrave, really legit. You want to... You want a game to just bless stuff up, not use other words. That's a game for you. Um, the only complaints people have about this game is uh, you pretty much have to use the same thing for all the enemies. It's easier. So it, it, there's not much change in the game, but it seems to be a blast. I'll definitely be playing that and I'll definitely be reviewing this game. Gauntlet. Now, Gauntlet, if you are a little bit older, you play that on the arcade. Really good game. Um, it's really an upgraded version of the old Gauntlet. So, right now, it's not in the market anymore. I should have got it in the most because it was only $1.19. Asterigos. I can't wait to play this game. This game looks like it's a lot of fun. Uh, Definitely going to check it out. Only $4.49. Not an old game. I believe it came out last year or two years ago. Okay. 11 October 2022. Really fun game. It seems uh, a lot of people seem to like. It's well reviewed. So I'll check it out. Deliver us to the moon and deliver us to Mars. So really good game in general. Uh, deliver us to the moon. Deliver us the moon. Um is a best, better game. So a lot of people got excited. They seem to have rushed Deliver Us Mars. So the game is a little bit lacking on the story and progression, I believe, uh, is also a much smaller game. But I feel I want to actually play both games. Um, so yeah, not too bad. 429 for Deliver Us the Moon and 209 for Deliver Us Mars. Then again, Arcane Collection, Remnant, Remnant, wow. So, as you guys see, this 909, I know, I'm not breaking the rules, I'm, it's just, this is a game that is worth uh, the money, definitely is worth more, um, really fun game, for what I can tell, I watched a lot of the gameplay, and people love this game, so... Definitely want to check it out. Uh, Got the Knights, again, 259. I know the game has issues, but the story seems to be solid enough for, in the most, for $2.59. Sid Meier's 6. I have to double check if I don't have already the game. Um, love the Civilization games. I just hate to play online because some people take hours to be able to do one move in the most when the games start progressing. So, yeah, I'll check it out. Stalker Complete Bundle, definitely have to get it. That's a must-have for any gaming enthousi enthusiast. So, $5.49, not too bad. And, as I said, the Killing Floor 2 Digital Deluxe Edition for PC. Oh, Beyond, forgot. And Split Second. So, Split Second, like I said, I already got. Really fun game. I can't use the words that I would word use to describe, or YouTube gonna hate me. But yeah, that's a, that's a winner. Has been for many many years for me, and gonna still be for many many to come. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys like any of the games I displayed, or if I should have picked other games that you saw uh, on the list. All right, so. Let me know, let me know ideas you guys have for the channel, what you guys would like to see in the channel now. I really appreciate, by the way, appreciate the comments you guys gave me in the last video. Uh, it really motivated me to be here today with you. 
So, yeah, I hope you guys have a great week or a great end of the week or just a good day. All right, guys, so I appreciate you very, very much. And as always, I'll see you in the game.